Welcome. In this video, I'm going to go over the basics of using screen sharing on a Mac. And in this video, I'm going to cover connecting from one Mac to another on a local area network. So I'm on my MacBook Pro here, and I want to connect to a different MacBook Pro on my network. So on that other MacBook Pro, you want to go into the System Preferences, and I'm showing it on this machine, but these are the steps I would take on the other machine. You want to go to System Preferences, and then go to Sharing. And on the left here, you'll see Screen Sharing. And you want to click the checkbox to turn it on. It says Screen Sharing is on. And then you can click on Computer Settings here, and there's a couple options. One says anyone can request permission to control my screen, and then one says VNC viewers may control screen with password. So that Mac uses the VNC protocol, so you can actually just click this button here and set a password. But I'm going to leave both of these unchecked for now. I'll hit OK, and then you can change who has access to do this. So I have set this up on the other machine, and then the other thing to note is the computer name. So on this one it's called MBP for MacBook Pro, and the other one is called MBP New, MacBook Pro New. Sometimes you'll see a big name here, it'll say like John Smith's computer in the office or something like that. And typically you want to change this to something easy to remember and shorter. So once you have that set up, then you can connect to that computer with a remote Mac. So I'm going to connect with the remote machine now. So we need to open up the screen sharing utility. I'll usually hit command space and just type in screen sharing and hit enter and it will bring up the screen sharing app and it will ask me to connect to the server. So in here I can type mbpnew.local. I'll hit enter. It will connect, and here we're on the remote machine. Another way you can get in, let me close this, is you can go to Safari, and you can type in VNC colon slash slash, and then we want to type in the name of the remote Mac. So we can type MBP new dot local. And then we hit enter. It says you want to allow this page to open screen sharing. I'll say allow, and it will take us right into screen sharing. From the finder, let me show you the next way. You only need to use one of these ways, but you can go to connect to server and you can type in vnc colon slash slash mbpnew.local. So you can type it in there, same thing, it will open up your screen sharing. So now I'm on the login screen and I can log in as one of these users. Sometimes you'll just get the password prompt. So I'll click on this Rick site account here. So the resolution on that screen is I think 3440 by 1440. So it's scrunching it down on this. I'm viewing this at 720p for this video. So here we're logged into the remote Mac. I can do pretty much anything on here. Audio does not come through on this. So I can go to Safari and open up a website. Okay, it's opening up my website. So this is not very practical to use at this resolution uh, in the remote uh, setting. So what I can do is I can go down to my system preferences here and you can hit command space and open up spotlight search on the remote machine. And I'll just do that and I'll say system preferences. Okay, and then I'll go to displays and I'll change this to scaled. Now it's not showing 720p on here. So what I can do is I'll click back on the default for display and then I'll hold down option when I hit scaled and that will give us some more choices. I can barely see this. I think this is 720p. Nope, that's not quite, but it's bigger so I can see. Okay, if I scroll down all the way, there's 720p there. So now the remote screen is at 720p. Now you can see here that the scaling is turned on, so it's still shrinking it down. I can blow it up in just a second here. The next thing you might want to do is go into your desktop and screensaver, so I'll hit that, and then I'll just change this to a, a color of some sort. So this has to compress the image and send it across the network, so this will make it a little faster if it doesn't have to compress that uh, mountain scene or whatever it is. So I'm connecting on my network. If you have a VPN set up, you can also connect over a VPN, so you could do this from an off-site location, and in that case, you'd probably want to type in the IP address of the remote Mac. So this can really come in handy if you have multiple computers, like if you have a Mac in your garage and you have one in your office and you can connect to them to transfer files. So another feature you can do here is you can just drag files between them. So if I drag this airplane.jpg over, you'll see it copies here. So that copied over, and then you can also cut and paste. So I'll just copy this uh, airplane.jpg, I'll just open up Safari, and you can see I can paste this in to the search window there. So they operate with each other very well. Back to the scaling, I can hit this here, and now it's full screen, you can see how it scrolls. It's uh, full resolution, I should say. I can go up here to view, enter full screen, and now we're viewing that screen as if it's our own. So this will work pretty much the same as a Mac, you won't have sound, and it will be a little slower likely. Let's see if we open this up how fast it goes. I'll open up my website. That's not too bad. Let's see if a video plays. 
There's not a lot of action in this video. Let's get a different video up. Okay, so this is a video streaming at full screen. It's glitching a little bit. And both of these machines are Core i5s. One is seven years old, no, one's eight years old, the other's five years old. So it is almost streaming 720p video over VNC. That's not too bad. This is easy to stream because it's just black. There we go. So there's an example of the performance you can get out of it. It's not too bad. So even if you have the capability to use a larger screen, it may not be a bad idea to use a smaller resolution if you don't need the larger resolution just for performance reasons. So to get out of full screen, I'll just go to the top window. I'll hit view and say exit full screen. And when I'm done with this remote system, I can just close this out or I can log out. So I can log out here. It'll take us back to that login screen. And there we go. So that's all for this video. This is just a basic overview of using screen sharing. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.